If you're somebody who wants to improve your mood and reduce your overall levels of stress, and you only have five minutes a day to invest in that, the data say that you would want to invest that in cyclic sighing. One single physiological sigh performed at any time of day under any conditions is the fastest physiologically verified way to reduce your levels of stress and to reintroduce calm. What is the shortest and most effective practice that people can use in order to reduce their levels of stress, not just during that breathwork practice or meditation practice, but around the clock, 24 hours a day, including improvements in sleep. The most effective practice of the four practices that we examined was the cyclic sighing. Again, cyclic sighing is performed the following way. You inhale through the nose as deeply as you can. Then you do a second inhale immediately afterwards to try and maximally inflate the lungs. In fact, that's what happens. We know that during that second inhale, even if it's just a very sharp, short inhale, the extra physical vigor that's required to generate that second inhale causes those avioli of the lungs, which may have collapsed. And indeed, in between breaths, and often even just through the course of the day, and especially if we get stressed, those avioli of the lungs start to collapse. And because they're damp on the inside, they have a little bit of fluid. They're like a balloon with a little bit of fluid in, in the middle. It takes a little bit of physical force to pop those open. Now you're not literally exploding them pop, but you're reinflating them with air. And then you perform the long exhale through the mouth until lungs are empty. So it looks exactly like this. <sighs> Now, we know that one single physiological sigh performed at any time of day, under any conditions, whether or not you're about to walk on stage to give a talk, or you're in a meeting and you're feeling stressed, or you're in a conversation that's very stressful, or you can feel stress mounting because you're in traffic, or any number of psychological or physical stressors that may be approaching you or you feel are oppressing you, doing one physiological sigh of the sort that I just described is the fastest physiologically verified way that we are aware of to reduce your levels of stress and is the fastest way to reintroduce calm. So the takeaway here is twofold. First of all, if you're somebody who wants to improve your mood and reduce your overall levels of stress, and you only have five minutes a day to invest in that, hopefully you're doing all the other things like trying to get proper sleep and exercise, social connection, nutrition, et cetera, sunlight in the morning, of course, can't leave that out. But if you were going to devote five minutes a day to a stress reduction practice that is now supported by data to translate to reductions in stress around the clock, the data say that you would want to invest that in cyclic sighing, that is double inhale through the nose, extended exhale through the mouth until your lungs are empty, then repeat for five minutes a day. The other thing about physiological size is that it's not a hack. It's not the application of a breathing practice to something that it wasn't intended for. In fact, physiological size were not discovered by me at all. They were discovered by physiologists in the 1930s who found that when people under breathe, they have a buildup of carbon dioxide in their system. And even though carbon dioxide is essential for life, you don't want too much of it in your system. And that people, whether or not they were asleep or awake, would engage a physiological sigh spontaneously, subconsciously. They would do this double inhale through the nose and extended exhale through the mouth. And that did not just eliminate excessive carbon dioxide from the system. It also rebalanced the oxygen carbon dioxide ratio in the proper ways. In fact, it's observed in animals. You might see this in animals that are tired. When animals or humans get tired, they tend to start under breathing a little bit. And that can often disrupt the balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen. And right before a dog will go down for a nap, for instance, you'll notice that it'll do this double inhale, exhale. People, when they are sleeping, if they hold their breath for a period of time, which frankly, all of us do periodically throughout sleep, they will engage a spontaneous physiological sigh. During the daytime, we are often holding our breath, especially nowadays, and there's a study on this, where when people text message or they're emailing, although nowadays people are, are mainly on social media and text messaging, they often are holding their breath and they will follow a breath hold by a physiological sigh because during that breath hold, they're building up the level of carbon dioxide in their system. So physiological sighs done either as a one-off, one physiological sigh to clamp stress or reduce stress in real time or repeatedly over five minutes as a practice that you do each day is going to be not just the most effective way to approach reducing stress around the clock and in real time, but also the one that's highly compatible with the way that the neural circuits that control breathing were designed. <laughs>